Hello everybody, I'm going to do a review on this trailer sway control kit I picked up from Harbor Freight. This is item number 96462. These retail for $34.99. They were on sale for $29.99. I applied a 25% off coupon so I picked this up for $22.49 plus tax. Not too bad. Basically what these are for is to control sway when you're towing down the road. Uh, if you have uh, large trucks and things blowing by you or big gusts of wind it can really push you all over the place and this is in essence a dampener to try to help that from happening it's basically just lined with a brake lining material and there's a linear slide that comes out and then you adjust it here to set the tension we'll have to get into that as we move on uh, the quality on it seems to be okay with one exception I was reading some reviews and there were many people complaining about these what they're calling self-tapping screws well these are not and they just do not look like a very good quality and people are snapping them off in their trailer frames trying to get them to thread in there this that and the other so I went over to fasten all and bought eight of these self threading bolts so I'll need to drill a hole and then there's a thread cutting piece on the end so these are better quality uh, let's see I picked these up for 20 cents a piece no I'm sorry for 74 cents a piece eight of those can't really tell how much they were but you do the math uh, anyway so that's the only upgrade I'm doing to this because I do not want to run a risk of snapping one of those off in there and having to deal with that issue now there's one component in here I will not be using which is this plate right here. If you have a weight distributing hitch there's usually a hole where this ball will just mount into it. Since I just installed one in another video if anybody's interested in that you can check it out. I won't be needing this plate. But if you do not have one of those this plate is so it can be welded to your actual receiver that you have in your truck. Okay the ball. So you'll need to take it to a welder and it needs to be put on in a certain dimension from the actual ball of the trailer in some manner. I'm not going to cover that, it's in the manual. So if anybody does not have one that will take the ball, beware that you will need to have some welding done. As well as if there is a problem mounting this plate and the ball to the trailer rail, uh, you may need to have this welded as well. It's not going to be a problem in my case. So let's get moving. Alright, well I've got the ball installed. Step 1 complete. If you don't have one of these weight dis distributing switches with a hole for one of these balls, then you will have to have that metal plate welded on so you can mount it. I also wanted to mention that this single application or single installation like this is rated up to 6,000 pounds gross trailer weight, which is pretty much what I can have. If you have between six and 10,000 pounds, you need to install two of them, one on each side. And you can mount this on the left side or the right side of the trailer. Uh, I just chose this side, no particular reason. The next step would be to measure from the center of the coupler straight back to 24 inches and make a mark. All right, well that mark's been made. You can't see it, but it's right here. You want the center of this ball to line up with that mark. Now they go in these four holes right here is where this will actually be mounted and you could mount it either way but you can see I cannot get to the center because of that bracket so I'll be mounting mine this way on the center right there center of the frame I'll mark all of these holes using this as a template and then I'll drill and install both of these together okay well everything's been installed and locked in it's looking good I installed the plate here and then from that point it's just a matter of setting it on installing your clips and there you go at this stage what I need to do is jackknife the trailer in both directions and make sure it doesn't disengage or come out of this or it doesn't lock up on this side or hit the trailer or do any damage and if it does then I just simply need to take it off when I'm back in the trailer uh, to uh, test it out this is off you tighten this up nice and firm about like that take it out and drive it if you're still having problems with sway 
then you would loosen this and turn this in one quarter increments and then tighten it back up and test it again. So I'll need to dial it in and take it out on the road and test it. The only other thing I'm going to do to it is lubricate the balls and that's it. I mean it was very easy to install, had no issues with it whatsoever and I hope it takes care of any type of sway issues. I hope this helps in some way. Thanks for watching guys. Good luck.